Hi everyone, it's uh, Chris DC Breaks here. I'm just going to take you through a quick demo of our brand new Neuro versus Jump Up preset pack that we've designed for Serum. Uh, let's jump straight in and hear what kind of sounds you can expect uh, from the preset pack. Okay, so first up we have a um, sound called Flangy Lead. Highly original sound, uh, name I mean. Um, what I've done is I've basically assigned um, different uh, modulations to each of the macros for all the presets and if you have a virus I've actually also um, uh, MIDI linked these to the ampl um, amplifier envelope controls for ease so you can just literally twiddle the knobs here and uh, get creative with the macros nice and easy if you haven't um, don't worry if you haven't got a controller but they're also on 59 through to uh, 63 if you have a different controller for example but anyway let's hear what these um, presets as uh, macros do because they uh, really help twist up the sounds we've got a rate one here the hype one's pretty cool as well so that's pretty sweet uh, let's crack on because there's loads to get through there's 25 uh, different ones in the preset pack but they're all super high quality and actually we've only finished them in like the last two or written all of them in the last two weeks so they're all brand new uh, quite often we don't give away ones this good but you know we're sharing the love it's all good right uh, progressive neuro bass so this sounds like this <laughs> Um, and then obviously with the macros, we start opening up the filter. That's pretty sweet. Next one, nursery bass. Uh, this is a jump up kind of sound. Actually, you can just hold down one key, it kind of loops, but you can. Uh, and then, so macro three is a sub shape. You can change the pitch tone. So that's your thing. So that's quite cool, quite handy, quite a lot of variety there. This one's called uh, Rasper. Uh, you can see it's got a custom waveform of my face, uh, which is a little bit different. Down an octave. Two octaves. The pitch is quite cool. We can turn this kind of into a dubstep lead. call it really it's not particularly jump up or not particularly dubstep i should say uh dark destroyer this is a kind of um quite current sort of bass sound really um if you like your one note bass lines whack some reverb on it Brexit bass. Uh, some of these do have pretty stupid names, but you kind of get, you kind of run out of ideas. You just got to call it something. So, what does Brexit bass sound like? Probably total shambles. <laughs> Given the macros, pretty stupid names here, and it's not really clear what any of them do, but I think that's quite fitting in this particular preset. <laughs> See, it's like changing the wave table, but sometimes you need to kind of play around with different combinations of the macros to get a good sound. Um, but all of them have actually been set up so out of the box when you first load it, the macros are in good positions to sound good. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, might still need to find what octave work they work best at. That's 
pretty cool. Uh, screech, this is a screechy sound, as you might guess. <laughs> Cool. Um, Owl bass. Again, stupid names. I know. Sorry. Sometimes with these, the um, the knobs kind of affect the texture of the sound um, or the tone of the character, and that's quite handy. So if you're playing in a riff um, and you've got it working in your tune, you might just need to kind of tweak the texture a little bit just to kind of get it to sit in the mix a little bit. Uh, what we've got now, business time. This is kind of like a jump up lead, I think. Oh yeah, this one. So here with the macros, you can do things like add sub. Or take the sub out if you just want the lead. Or just blend it in. Uh, space. It's kind of just like the dimension um, effect. And again with the tone. And character. Right. Uh, hopper. Jump up kind of sound, well, I don't know, kind of both. Not quite good as a riser even. Uh, so that's that one. Um, getting a little carried away there. Uh, drone bass. <laughs> the pitch uh, punch. Quite a good thing to do with this sound actually, if um, you've got the low pass on. Um, if you press two notes together, uh, consecutive on the keyboard. Get that kind of wobble. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else have we got on here? 13 Crocodile Bass. Crocodile is a horrible heroin, synthetic heroin. I highly avoid you, suggest you avoid. <laughs> lead or bass sound kind of a bit of both eagle piggle lead yeah if you've got kids you know so you can kind of completely change So you can 
pretty much got like four or five different sounds in there which you can kind of sweep through in the one preset. Uh, Rush Hour, this is just like a really nasty neurofunk kind of sound, this is wicked. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Uh, Rave, this is just like a kind of um, our interpretation of a classic sound called a mentasm back from back in the day, a kind of classic rave sound. <laughs> That kind of straight out of the box, but then obviously it's highly tweakable as well. Slow down how fast it is, you know. So that's quite versatile as well, quite cool for making those rave sounds. Succulent bass. This is even high pass it up. And add varying degrees of noise. Sorry, the uh, lag of me screen recording this is uh, making it skip a little bit. Tight jeans, this is a um, jump up lead. But you can add. So pretty cool. Uh, Bandersnatch bass. Wonder where the inspiration came forth on this. You can see actually we've got another custom wavetable here, which is the white bear symbol, which is quite cool. If you like that sort of thing, if you're a fan of the show. Pretty sweet. Ford Escort, jump up lead. Check out the macros. There's a nice snare in the pack as well. So basically what this is, is a uh, we've put a sample of a DC snare, DC brake snare into the noise section. And then we basically layered it up with some uh, effects and um, obviously you can modulate the effects and some different layers with the actual wavetables here. Uh, so this is what it sounds like out the box. Uh, we've got C4. So obviously you can choose your pitch nice and easily across the range of the keyboard, but then you can also change the character of it from almost like a clap. thicker or thinner snare and reverb uh, this trash it things quite extreme as well shape just kind of changes the length of it really so that's just quite a handy tool to have uh, yin yang bass <laughs> Just with the uh, the pitch wheel there. So that's quite versatile.
small sound, duck bass. Uh, add some vibrato on that. Uh, hands up saw. This is a kind of um, neurofunk lead saw. I guess the kind of inspiration was Dead Limit. It's that kind of sound. Um, oscillator two. That one lobs actually marked 58, don't touch. Uh, it sounds good. <laughs> Controlling the uh, frequency modulation pitch, which is uh, going to affect the sound quite drastically. And last but not least, uh, we have a sound called Escape Plan Bass. This is kind of a Dillinger-y sort of stab bass. <laughs> with the macros you can really customize it change the waveform and then make it even a bit more jump up with the top harmonic control here and then the punch control go all right so that's a quick demo of all the sounds uh, if you like it jump over to dcbreaks.com uh, and buy it from our store hope you enjoy it hope you get some good use out of it and uh, until next time peace out <laughs>